Hi, I'm Chef Mark with LearnToCook.com. Today we're preparing a sandwich. What I like to do is get uh, some multi-grain bread and toast it. I like to toast it on all sides. And you can toast it and char it and grill it even if you like. It gives it some nice flavor. Of course, some of the sandwiches, like in Europe, for example, in Spain, they take a well-toasted bread, Spanish bread, French bread, Italian bread, and take a piece of garlic and rub it gently on the inside. That gives it a great tasting sandwich, especially if you like garlic. What we're going to do now is add um, a, uh, I guess, a barrier, a moisture, which would be mayonnaise. You can use mayonnaise with olive oil. That has a nice, uh, nice flavor profile, so we'll put some of that on one side. You can use a little wasabi sauce. I like to add that as well. Gives a little kick, a little drizzle of wasabi sauce. And uh, how about a little mustard, right? So just a little dab of mustard as well, Dijon mustard. So it's a very international flavored sandwich, right? You got Dijon mustard from France, wasabi, which is not a mustard. Wasabi is actually a root, that, fresh water root that grows in Japan, and it's known for its heat. Many times it's called Japanese horseradish, but a horseradish grows in the soil, whereas the wasabi grows in fresh water along the rivers in Japan. So I had to combine those nice flavors. We have some, some mustard, a little sweetness and heat and a little, little mayonnaise, olive oil for, for that unctuousness, that flavor that you like in a nice sandwich. So then we want to put on our lettuce. That's the next step. So I have some radicchio lettuce, also known as ridiculous lettuce because of the price, but actually has a nice flavor, a little different color on your sandwich, right? It's the same old green lettuce, right? So we have it on there. So we have the toasted bread, the, the barrier or the dressing, which allows the lettuce to adhere to the bread. And you can leave this open face if you like. And the, our, next, our next thing would be to put uh, cheese, have some smoked Gouda cheese. I lay a slice on each side. All right, just like so. And I have some mortadella. A slice or two of that. You want to actually remove the cold cuts from the package and loosen them so that they are, are light, not, uh, not layers. Uh, it makes the sandwich look larger, actually uh, eats better instead of it densely packed, which you may see. Then on the top of that, we're gonna add some Serrano ham. And uh, a sandwich usually is uh, something you can pick up bread on both sides so that, well, that you don't get the, the ingredients you have to hold an open face sandwich, right? So with a closed sandwich, you don't have to do that. So that's the purpose of a sandwich so that you don't have to have food on your fingers, keep your fingers dry with a piece of lettuce. You can put salt and pepper on there if you like. So now we're gonna close this sandwich up. So it's a matter of inverting that. Nice looking sandwich. Toothpick both sides of the sandwich right down to the table. Press it, then cut on a bias. Use a serrated knife, nice saw in action. And then uh, you want to have a nice, nice platter to place that on. And there's your beautiful, uh, enjoyable sandwich. Enjoy.